guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today i'm going to be doing an in-depth tutorial on my rainfall shower just like you can see here um yes my sim is just fully clothed stood there so i'm also going to use the round room so you can see how i did it with the round room and i'm just gonna basically recreate what i've got here so the first thing we'll go ahead and do is delete the flat parts of the wall i do want this to extend here and i'm actually gonna extend it slightly further out as well just like that and so another thing you can do is if you don't want things to stick out the back you can just create a box on the back of here it's only a thing that slightly sticks through but i think it looks nice just having this behind it for some reason anyway so you do need the university pack for this uh unfortunately if you don't have that it doesn't sort of work you can use island living i think if you size this down you could get away with using this as well but it doesn't look as good because this is more hidden so we're going to use the shower from the university pack and we're going to place this like where I put that box or just wherever you want it if you don't want to put the box on the back and I'm just going to size this down to make it really small I've also made it black so it blends in with the wall just pick a color that is the closest to the wall as possible and I'm also going to put another one and leave it big we're going to get rid of this one in a second um, it's just to use as a bit of a guide so the other pack you need is the wellness pack and this is because you need to use the stony goodness slab there might be some other packs that have something similar but this doesn't interfere with the sim at all like you can put it down and your sim's not going to complain it's in the way so the first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and size this down if you are on pc it is the square bracket key on the left and it'll just size it down i'm just going to do that once if you're on console you hold, hold both shoulder buttons and use the left on the d-pad to size down so i'm just sizing that down once and then we're going to go ahead and raise this up to raise up on a pc it can be a few different things it is either just the nine key or control 9 or alt 9 um, for me it is just the 9 key and I'm just gonna raise this up until it sits at about the shower height maybe just above the shower like so if you are on a console you press both shoulder buttons again and you use up and down on the d-pad so now we can go ahead and get rid of the shower it was just to sort of get an idea where this sits I've also just noticed I've still got the roof on here. You do want to delete the roof. So just, you can use your sledgehammer tool to this and just delete that bit of roof. I'm also going to delete the roof in there too. Now, if you go into build mode and then you see this little log in the corner, which is all outdoor water decor, you're going to click that and then click on um, either pond objects or it's also found under fountain decorations. And we're just going to use this fish from base game again pick the closest color to the wall because we want this to be a bit hidden so i've clicked the darkest color because that's most similar to my wall and we're going to size this down so again just use square bracket keys or hold both shoulder buttons and the left on the d-pad and then we're going to go ahead and raise this up and i don't know why i'm raising this up to at the minute i'm just going to raise it up so there and you can see it's slightly sticking through the wall this is what we want so now we have to go to live mode. This is just so we can see where this sprouts out to. So go ahead and press play. And we can see that it's a little bit too high because we want this sort of section here to be just on this slab. So now we go back into build mode. And we can drop it down. And it will disappear, but we've got this here now and i'm just gonna do exactly the same thing again and raise it up and i'm gonna alt place this i don't know what this is on console i'm afraid um but if you're on pc you just hold alt and you get this nice free placement and i'm just gonna place this next to that one and i'm gonna do it again on the other side this is just so it looks nice and full you don't have to do all three if you don't want go back into live mode and just see if that looks okay yeah, I think that looks fine. And now another thing you can go ahead and do is hide these a little bit by actually placing them into the wall. So again, going back into build mode and we're gonna shuffle these back slightly. 
So again, just grabbing these, holding Alt. This should hide them a little bit better. Go back into there. So it's a bit of back and forward. There we go. And this will permanently run. Um, so that's the only bad thing about that. And if you have tool mod, you can go ahead and tilt these. So this comes more directly down. So you just tilt the fish a little bit forward. I think it was 15% forward. Um, is the perfect amount to get it straight down and you can also size it up down the shower a little bit more using tool mod also if you want to I'm not gonna go do that for this um, because I want to show you, you can do it without and I'm just gonna get my sim to take a shower I see yeah, you will get this animation still oh, in there but it still looks like she's getting it showered with this she's very loud so apologies for that yeah, you can go ahead and decorate this how you like. Like I said, I did this one like more like an outdoor shower. This can be done indoors. It doesn't have to be an outdoor shower. I just think rainfall showers look really beautiful in outdoorsy setting like I've done here. But that is it for this tutorial. Um, if there's any other tutorials you've seen on my shorts or a little bit confused with, please let me know and I will make a more in-depth tutorial for you. I have done quite a few already, so make sure you've checked to see if I've already done it. Um, but yeah, I'm happy for to do any of them, even if it's a more simple idea, just because you need a little bit more help, I am happy to do an in-depth tutorial. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.